Hello everyone, in this quick tip I will show you very quickly how to get a list of all your domain controllers, global catalogs and FSMO role holders from your forest. All of this of course using PowerShell. You can already see the code on my screen. I will show you two ways of getting this information. First is directly by getting a list of domain controllers and filtering through them to get uh, all the needed data. The second option is to get the data from the domain or the forest uh, properties. So let's not waste time. First I want to show you how to get a list of your domain controllers, all of them. So as you can see these are my two domain controllers that I have now. If you remove the select object name part it will show you a lot more information about these two servers. Next I want to show you how to get all of your global catalogs. And this is done easily by just filtering by is global catalog equals true. And here you have it. You can see the DC02 server and the DC01 server. In this case I haven't uh, used select object so you see all of the server's properties. And last but not least, from the list of domain controllers we can filter to get only the servers that have a value in the operation master roles property. And in this case only DC01 was selected because uh, this holds all of my FSMO roles. So let's move on to the second way of getting this information. First we can get uh, the free domain level FSMO roles using the get ad domain command. And a very nice looking output. You can see the free roles with the free role holders, which in this case is the same server. Let's now get a list of the two uh, forest level roles using get ad forest. And here you go. Last but not least, also from uh, the forest level, we can get all of the global catalogs. And this is the output. So I hope you liked this video. It's very easy to get this information and even more information if you need different things as you can see. If you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe and see you in the next one. And if you want to get the code, you can visit my GitHub page that is linked in the description.